at a big box store. I won't bother to say which one. Hopefully I won't capture the name. They have planted, buried too deep, a bunch of bald cypress, which they also have covered, whoever the landscapers are, with landscaping weed cloth. All of that's going to cause um, the girdling that I often talk about. And then whoever's pruning out here, these are the cuts that they're leaving, which is crazy. All right, yeah, that's way above the scarring tissue right here. Okay, so you want to get right near that little fold that will allow the tree to create a nice wound heal um, instead of way out here. Way out here, the tree thinks that this branch still needs to be fed, so it gets some circulation for a while, and then that leads to infection. Anybody who grows these trees knows that they suffer often from spider mites, and so you don't want to treat them with imidacloprids because the imidacloprids will increase spider mite infestations because it doesn't really work on Acaria or Acariaceae, uh, which is the mite family. And the one last thing I would say is, uh, these are beautiful trees. Why would we mound and mulch and then cut like that? This lichen on here is indicative of, uh, typically indicative of good quality air, but I think in this case it's indicative of very slow growth. Um, this was a better cut, still not great though. The wound is much better than what we'll see in terms of wound healing on that one. And with that slowed growth, that means slowed wound healing as well. Um, this tree's going to suffer a slow, uh, not very pleasant death. So, delight in your trees, love your trees, and hire people who will, especially if you're a big box store that sells plants, maybe you want to hire people who are actually going to care about your trees and do the best for them.